Some updates this afternoon regarding the USS The Sullivan's crews were able to do a lot more today after a rough day yesterday. You remember with the weather. Ron Plants back down at the Naval Park joining me live now with what is going on there today. I'm sure they're happy for the sunshine, Ron. Yeah, Kate, you know, I, I heard you and Maria talking about it at the beginning of most Buffalo. What a difference a day makes definitely down here on the waterfront. You may recall on Monday we were dealing with sleet and yesterday we had some of the high winds and they were also causing the water to be a bit higher, in particular on the back of the ship. But today with the sunshine and the fact that that seish that's again that effect with the waves off the lake. The fact that that's a bit lower with the wind, no wind today, that is allowing them to actually get divers in the water. From what we understand, there are two divers right now. You really can't see them from where we are, but photojournalist Terry Belke is going to get a little tighter on the ship. They're actually on the back of the ship towards the stern on the port side. And what they're looking for is any damage, any kind of a, a rupture in the hole, any kind of a breach which would cause the water to come in. Uh, we don't know what they're finding at this point. Here's something else that's kind of interesting. The Coast Guard actually brought in an underwater drone and they were trying to use that as well to try to check the hull, but we understand that did not work out as well as they originally hoped, so they took the drone out of the water. They're gonna try to use it again at some point, but definitely they have those divers that are in the water now checking the ship. Also, we're gonna point out that they, what else they did today was they actually tightened the mooring lines. Those are the rope lines there that secure the ship to the pier. That will allow them to make sure that there's no undue mov movement of the ship and that perhaps could jeopardize the divers in the water. So that's why they wanted to do that and make sure that the ship is more snug, tighter against the pier here and would not roll or anything further. That list actually, that was the degree of angle. That's also from what we're being told, perhaps a little less pronounced than it was yesterday. And that may be perhaps a sign of progress but again, they're being very measured in their uh, assessments of how things are going here because they want to be careful. They've been disappointed before. So again, today, uh, some progress with the sunshine out here, and hopefully we'll get an update as to what they are actually seeing in terms of the hull in the coming days. So reporting live here from a much sunnier perspective here at the Naval and Military Park this afternoon, I'll turn it back to you, Kate, in the studio. Yes, yeah, some promising news today and fascinating to watch the whole thing unfold. Ron, thank you for that update.